for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got some explosive passing plays for you guys today. Today, I'm be going over a passing play that's from my New Orleans Saints offensive ebook, and it's a play that can home run any single defense in the game. I put out some run plays yesterday. I'll have a link in the description if you guys want to Woo! check that out. But if you guys want to see a full breakdown of this offense, as always, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. The formation itself is the strong slot flex. I went over the run plays yesterday, and this would pretty much be my setup because this is a run heavy formation. I would go these three run plays if anything i would remove maybe one of these uh stretch plays and put another passing play in but this is pretty much how this setup would be because the only pass play you need is going to be the pa post shot this is definitely the best one and on defense we're going to start off with random because there's a really good uh setup you can do with this that works against a lot of different defenses so let's go and let's pick that now as always this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors at aoeh.com if you guys want to get your mutt team up i know the uh the winter promos are dropping now check them out links in the description below if you just kind of code money to get three percent off it's always guaranteed to be the cheapest coins on the market now you can create a very good concept with this play where you basically just motion this b right across this is the only route you can motion across by the way uh, and you can either put them on a streak or a slant now the slants are really good against man if you do this setup here this is a very good man beating setup with the b route and the x route if you have a man zero there's a lot of different things you can do with this you could also put them on a streak and then you can put the rb route either on an out route or you know you can basically create a concept like this um, so like i said this is something that you know i still got my running back into my fullback spot too by the way which is important when it comes to the passing plays but there's a lot of different things you can do with this particular play so if somebody's running a lot of man or a lot of cover four i would say keeping him on the slant is probably best but if it's like a zone coverage like cover three or cover two i would say having him on a streak and then having the fullback on a shorter route either that or a swing route an out route or swing route all really works out this is a man coverage obviously because the cornerback followed but that's why i was saying this route here is a very good man beating route so if you have a man zero or a man cover one that route's going to be there pretty much every single time but the slant and the post combo are especially good man beating plays that's this is one of the best man beating concepts you're going to be able to find so let's go and let's do this again this it looks like we have that man covered one more time man cover one. like i said you got your slant i probably would have had the post too if i waited long enough but the blitz was kind of coming in the formation pretty much gives away the whether it's man or zone anyway but if a cornerback follows it just makes it that much easier to figure out so this is pretty much going to be another man coverage looks like it's probably a man zero as you can see the safeties are coming in hot and we can basically just hit this guy over the top again uh, for another easy uh, big play. So that's something that you can run against just about any defense. But this has a lot of specific one play touchdown applications. So let's go ahead and let's go and start off with Tampa 2 like we always do. So against most coverages, I'm going to be making this motion with Brown where I bring him in here. Um, and then the A route here, I just have to put him on a 10 yard out route. That's all I really got to do. Put the B route here. I like to put him on an out route or even a drag uh, really works out well. And then you're going to see how, you know, this safety here, even though he's lit up, he's one of the best safeties in the game. He's going to play down more than he should. And we're going to get right over the top. Now that was actually better coverage than I'm expecting. Um, there's a lot of different setups you can do here to get this guy open even more. Let's go ahead and let's motion this guy across. You can put the B route on a slant also. You can block the A route entirely and do this setup, uh, which you're going to see the b route once again pulls that safety down this is something where i mean i don't know that, that was kind of a late throw i don't know what happened there i tried to bullet it past it that up it really didn't work out as well as i wanted to but you can see how it gets open very easily i said this motion is going to be something i make in a lot of different defenses the slant and blocking the a route is probably the best way to go because uh, now i have additional blocking and you can see how the x route here is just wide open although i don't know i'm not really getting the best time throws i'm not really sure why i'm not getting more separation but you can see i'm getting a lot of separation so it's definitely working out also works against cover two man as we'll find here whether it's man or zone the cover two safeties will work the same so that's just something to keep in mind And then you can see, boom, we get the guy right over the top. Although, once again, a little bit of pressure on my face, which is weird considering that I have so much blocking, but I guess all the extra man defenders are blitzing. You can see we get right over the top. So let's do that again. I said, hopefully we'll have a little bit more success with protection. Like I said, the extra man guys look like they're blitzing. And then, like I said, this is the route. I mean, the post route is one of the best routes in the game. You can see we're getting right over the top against pretty much any cover two defense. Also going to have a lot of success against cover three. So let's go and let's pick cover three sky. Now, when it comes to cover three, this setup will work uh, well, but it's going to be a short side bomb. A lot of cover three plays, you really have to 
know where you are on the field. Run it from a certain hash mark to a certain hash mark. This particular play, you're going to run it from the short side, from the hash mark to the short side of the field. And all you're going to do is motion this guy in again, put the B route in a streak. You can see how the receivers are different. Like if I motion from the open side of the field, the receivers are aligned differently than if I do it from the short side of the field. If I do it from here, you can see that they're really kind of on top of each other. But if I do it from the other side of the field, uh, the outside receiver actually goes past the slot receiver. So let's go, let's, you know, you see the difference here. Like I said, this is something that it really bases off of where you are on the field. So that's important. But basically running from the hash mark to the short side of the field, streak the B route, put the A route on a 10 yard out route, which is a, an out route and that's smart routed. And you're gonna see how you're gonna have a lot of success once again. Like I said, this is very dependent on where you are on the field, but you can see we're getting right over the top of that cornerback. Uh, we got another easy one play touchdown against cover three. So cover three, cover two, we're bombing it up on all sides. Works the same with cover one man. Obviously, I mean, we already showed that the uh, the post route was having success against man coverage when we were doing random plays. Pretty much the exact same set of motion this guy in, put the uh, B route on a streak. You can put the A route on a drag or something if you want to check down. Uh, but ultimately, this is pretty much going to be the play every single time. You're just waiting for this X route to cross. And then you can see we're pretty much just getting an easy one play touchdown against, you know, any man coverage. The, the post route's a really easy one play touchdown against man. Has a lot of success against cover four as well. So we'll go ahead and we'll pick cover quarters first. Now this play here working against just about anything. Just put the B route on a 10 yard in and then put the A route on a comeback. That's all you really got to do. If you do this setup here, you pretty much have a one play touchdown to the X route every single time. So it'll pretty much just run right past the safety just as long as you can buy enough time. So this one here, I mean, they actually covered. If you don't make adjustments, it actually gets covered pretty well. You can motion this guy in the same way we've been doing. I think if you do that though, it's best to put this guy on a 10 yard out route so they don't get in each other's way because sometimes they're gonna be aligned kind of tightly. And then you can see here, once again, the X route here uh, can get right over the top. But these safeties just don't do a very good job. You just have to isolate them on the safety and nine times out of 10, you'll beat that safety with the, the deep post route. Also has success against cover four drop, which is the last defense uh, we're gonna go over. So let's go ahead and let's pick cover four drop contain. Now cover four is very unique because this is the only play where you're gonna target a different route. You're gonna motion in the, the X route here this time, put the X route on the streak and block the A route. And you're gonna see how now the B route gets behind cover four because for whatever reason, this uh, safety here really reacts more to the streak than he does the crossing around his air and there's nothing pulling the cornerback back. So that's a very easy one play touchdown against cover four. But like I said, it's very different. There's This is the only time that we're targeting the B route. So I'll go ahead and do it one more time. I'm also running a short side, which I think is important once again, uh, but you can see, I mean, this guy just gets completely uncovered, making this, you know, like I said, a really glitchy play as they run out of bounds, a really glitchy play against just about every single defense. We'll, go ahead and we'll try it to the wide side one time just to see if it matters, because to be honest with you, I'm not 100% sure. As you can see right here, the B route here, once again, just gets right past it. So the cover four play, you can really run from anywhere on the field, short side or wide side, and it's a very easy one play touchdown. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video there. If you guys wanna see more glitchy pass plays out of the Saints or more from this formation, I can do an entire breakdown of this offensive formation, which for right now will only be on my Patreon and my eBooks and then my Join Now community tab. So if you wanna check that out, go ahead and, you know, links in the description. But if you guys wanna see more, hit the like button and I'll try to put that out at a later date. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you.